All right, let's do this together. It looks kind of old. I don't know what that is. It's gonna be, that's gonna be a merc. No. It's everybody it is seven o'clock on a saturday morning got my friend jason over here maybe y'all can see him uh we are hitting another football field this morning uh we had such great success at the other field and we've been out there two or three times and found a lot of stuff and come up to this old school and this football field and there's been some slqs been found on this one so we're going to hit it today and it's wet it's cold but we're going to get our best shot anyway and if we find anything we'll definitely show it to you but also somewhere in this video, don't forget, there's going to be a trivia question. So uh, the first one to answer the question correctly in the comments below is going to get a PD sticker and something else. So uh, stay tuned and good luck and we'll see you out in the field. I wanted to show you all my setup this morning. I've been having trouble. Some people have been saying that my turning the, the, the handle in my hand and a lot of bad sound through the GoPros, the mics are so sensitive. And so in my last video, I tried one handle in this video. I'm trying a different handle. So I'm going to be recording all the treasure finds with my phone, my Galaxy 8, which has great audio and great video. But I also got an external mic set up on my GoPro now, and it's facing me. So I can have a treasure shot like this and also a facial shot like that and have a B-roll, what you're looking at right now through me. And so hopefully I'm going to knock out all that audio, uh, bad sounds, and it'd just be quiet and good good audio today. So let's get out in the field and let's get with it. We're out here at this football field. And uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. It rained all day yesterday, so it's wet. Like I said, there's good LCQs come out of here right over in this area. So we're going to start hunt. Jason's right over there. And so we're going to just set up today in Park 1. And uh, let's see... We're, uh, we're going to leave everything pretty much. Uh, going to my speed recovery is going to be on a uh, four, and uh, we're going to put the sensitivity at uh, twenty-two, and uh, we'll go ahead and yeah, we'll just leave it where it's at right there. Uh, don't you hate it when you go too far and uh, get it out of the way? All right. I got a little interference, so let's ground balance that, and let's also get the noise cancellation out of it. All right, I'm ready to go, so let's get to swinging. Over here by the sideline, I uh, haven't got too many signals today, but I did get this one signal, and you can see it right there. I dug it up. It's a, uh, it's a uh, piece of a necklace, and it says, I don't know if you can see the light. It says Brenda, Brenda on it. And it's a little necklace. It's a, uh, I don't think it's silver. It's ringing up like a 29 to the 31. I don't, I don't think it's silver though. All right, that's a uh, good find. Let's keep on going. Well, I'm still over here in that same area. I just dug my uh, necklace right there. I came back down here. I dug a wheat penny over here. So I'm just kind of focusing in here. And I got a 27 to a 29, pretty deep. And I just popped it out. And I don't know what it is yet. I called Jason to come up here and. Uh, See it right there? It's definitely silver. So let me get my other camera and we'll get a close-up. All right, let's do this together. It looks kind of old. I don't know what that is. Is that going to be? That's going to be a Merc. Be an old Merc. No, it's just going to be a Rosie. Oh, it had me fooled. It's just going to be a Rosie. I thought it was going to be an old silver, but I'll take a 55 Rosie dime. That's not too bad. At least they're silver in the hole, isn't it? All right, let's keep on going. Well, we're still out here. I'm not finding a whole lot today. I got a 29 signal here and it's nothing really great. It's just a no button. Thought it was gonna be silver there at first, but it's just gonna be some type of decorative button. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I've just been working this uh, sideline over here. Got two Wheaties and got that uh, rosy down right down there. It's getting a good 27 signal. And uh, you can tell it's uh, eight inches deep. And I just popped it up and check that out, guys. That's going to be an old rosy. I mean, old uh, mercury. All right, let's see what that's going to be. Uh, 40, not that old. It's going to be a 40. 40, uh, 42? Maybe a 42? Let me get my other camera. We'll get a close up. All right, there it is. Can y'all tell on that? What's that going to be? A 42. 1942. Rosie dime. All right, I'll take that any day. Well, we're gonna call it quits here. I got two Wheaties and got two Silvers, a Rosie and a, and a uh, Mercury dime. 
but I was digging another penny signal and I heard somebody come up behind me and yell at me and uh, it was the athletic director and this other guy he was being a real uh, I keep my comments to myself anyway we have permission to be up here by a coach but he happened to be the athletic director and he didn't know about it so they asked us to leave so we're gonna head back over to that other field where we've been finding all that silver the gridiron treasure fields and we're gonna head back over there so I'll see you then all right see ya that is trivia time in my last video no way what a day I'll put it the card right here uh, I found a big silver coin that made me say no way and maybe gave me the title of my video uh, the trivia question is this, what was that coin and what year was that coin? First one to answer that correctly in the comments below is going to win a PD sticker and something else. So good luck. All right. If I'm keeping in with the football terms, this is the second half now. We come back out here to this football field where we've been finding a lot of stuff. And so I had to go make a phone call. My friend's already detecting. So I'm back out here. Let's get the swing and let's see what we can get. Well, back out here at that field, gridiron, and uh, it done paid off again. I dug a couple of Wheaties, and I just popped it out of the sidewall right here and popped it up. And there it is right there. Check that out. It's getting the sun. Rub that rosy. 1955. All right. 1955. How you like that, big boy? You wear me out. I got four Wheaties, too. You wear me out. <laughs> All right, another Rosie. I'll take that any day. That's three silvers for the day. Yeah, 1955 Rosie. All right, that's two Rosies and a Merc for today. It was ringing up just like a penny, like a 21, 22, real choppy. I said, what the heck? There's not many signals out here today, so I'll dig it anyway. That's just called Stagecoach Road, and they say it's haunted. You come out through here at night, and you see uh, different orbs and spirits and things like that. Is the original road going from Marshall over to Karnak. But oh, wow, that is really, really neat. All right, let's go see if we can find us a spirit. Did I get you at the very end where I dropped the camera and put the woman screaming on there? That is a real unique road though. Uh, if you're ever over in the Marshall area, it's, it's just kind of north, uh, northeast of Marshall going towards Karnak. It's called Stagecoach Road and uh, it's said to be a haunted. You can look it up online. You can look at YouTube videos on it, but it really is a very unique road. If you ever get a chance, go check that out. Those banks are like 20 feet tall. And you're driving through there and it's just cut out through the wagon the stagecoaches through the years and uh, just been maintained so uh, it was on the way back i've always wanted to do it so i thought i'd just throw it in the video and kind of scare you just a little bit but we had a uh, uh, jason didn't have a very good day at all he didn't find anything i skunked him really bad but uh he did get some wheat pennies and i got some wheat pennies but i got i got three silvers as well and it just wasn't one of uh, one of the best days. We've hunted that field out pretty good now, and the finds are few and far between. And uh, the other field, probably still stuff there, but we got run off of there. Well, we got asked to leave, not run off. Uh, anyway, but I made it back. Uh, let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, here's all my trash. Typical stuff that you dig in a ball field. We dig a lot of these pencil in erasers, which ring up just like a nickel, like a gold ring. Dig a lot of them up. Uh, but... Uh, we didn't find a whole lot today, but we've had a fairly good day. Uh, here's all the clad. I got two quarters. 
I got six dimes. I was digging a lot of nickel signals today. I got five nickels. There's still a lot of nickels out there that we need to dig. I've got five, 10, 15, 16 pennies. I've got uh, five wheat pennies. And uh, all of them kind of come out of the same area of the field. I got one decorative button in that first field that we hunted. And then I've got that uh, little necklace that says Brenda. And I uh, can't really tell if there's anything on the back. I don't think so. But there's a little piece of jewelry. Uh, here's the silvers for the day. I got two 1955 rosies. And the best find of the day is going to be this 1942 mercury dime. I love digging these mercury dimes. They're beautiful dimes. Got a lot of good toning on it as well. But that's the way it is sometimes, guys. Sometimes we find lots of good stuff. Sometimes we don't find much at all. But I wanted to show you what I found, just to show you that sometimes we just have bad days too. We just don't find a whole lot. But I'm happy to get silver on any day that we hunt. So there's all the trash. And here's all my treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what can be found in a football field. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.